Hi there, previously we covered how to calculate cross product. Today we are covering its applications. For example, we can use cross product to determine if two vectors are collinear. Because sine of 0 degrees or 180 degrees is 0, our cross product will be equal to 0 when our vectors are parallel or anti-parallel. Cross product can also be used to determine the angle between two vectors. By rearranging our formula and knowing the magnitude of n is 1, we can easily solve for the angle between two vectors using this formula here. We can also use cross product to calculate a unit vector perpendicular to our two vectors. If we have two vectors a and b and solve for the cross product, this will be perpendicular to both a and b, and we can use this formula here to solve for the unit vector in this direction. We can also solve for the error of a triangle or parallelogram. If we have two vectors and connect their heads to produce a triangle, or repeat them to enclose a parallelogram, the area of these shapes is given by the cross product formula shown here. Finally, torque can be calculated with cross product by crossing the distance vector by the force vector. So if we had a wrench tightening a bolt with a given length and applied a force to it at a given angle, we can line up our vectors tail to tail and solve for the torque applied to the bolt using cross product.